I have speculated that the belt on my Wolverine film scanner may have started to melt because there's just too much heat inside the enclosure. I don't see any vent holes on it. And it has a very large motor here. It's a stepper motor. And that's going to generate a fair amount of heat. You have some uh, components up here. Some of those are going to generate heat. And again, there is no way for any of it to escape. So I'm going to find out just how hot it does get inside there. I picked up one of these um, digital barbecue thermometers from Home Depot. It has a probe that actually goes from here on over to here. I covered it with black electrical tape, most of it anyway, to keep it from shorting out against anything. And then I've got it uh, just taped down with some paper tape. And I cut a little notch in the side of the case so that the wire can lead out. Here's the back of the case. Those holes you see are for screws. And there are no vent holes, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm speculating it could get pretty warm inside here. So let's fire this up and see what happens. Okay, I got it set up and I'm ready to go. I'm not going to use my adapter for large reels for this test. I'm just going to run it in the normal way with a full uh, five inch reel. And according to this, the temperature inside the box right now is 77 degrees. I'll start this up and check about every 10, 15 minutes or so. Well, the temperature has gone up from 77 to 88. And we are maybe, I don't know, a fourth of the way through the reel of film. You can really hear that noise it's making. Sounds like a squeaky hinge. In just over five minutes, the temperature has gone up to 90 degrees. It has stopped digitizing. And the temperature is measured by the probe, 97 degrees. Let's open it up and see what's going on there. So let's see what it feels like. This is the bottom of the stepper, stepper motor. A little warm. It's, uh, let's see if we can extricate the probe. The probe is stuck into an area that's between the motor and the uh, drive belt mechanism. You can see the temperature rapidly shooting up there, 109 degrees, 112, 129 degrees, still creeping up slowly. It's leveled off to 128 degrees, probably maybe cooling off now. So this is the temperature as measured uh, inside the SD card slot, 95 degrees. 96, as you can read, and again, this has been sitting in open air, cooling off for several minutes since I stopped running it. Just sigh of a century there. How are we going to do it? There's 99, 99, do I hear 100? Do I hear 100? 99 once, 99 twice. Is it sold at 99? Oh, telephone bid for 100. Wow. You know, it is a little disconcerting that the um, memory card is being subjected to that sort of heat. So here's the memory card. There's the motor. And that gap, as is the gap between the motor and the belt, very slim. So, yeah, somebody said, where's the, where's, where's the heat sink? Well, the heat sink for the... Uh, motor apparently is everything else. <laughs> we'll let the circuit board dissipate the heat for us. This is the uh, stepping motor. It uses one and a half amps. That's a pretty good load actually for a wall wart. Okay, let's do, uh, this thing has quite a bit of time to cool off. Let's stick this down here. Between, make sure I don't have any power on. Stick this down here and see what kind of readings we get. Several minutes after shutting the system down and opening up for it to cool. Still seeing temperatures really right at the circuit board level. Approaching 100 degrees. I'm not an electrical engineer or even an electrician. 
So if somebody let me know is that kind of temperature reading not good for sustained times on systems like this? I would think not, but okay, I'm going to put this back into service now. I know what's going on inside. It seems the belt, well, it doesn't seem the belt is melting. And the fact that it is operating in very, very close proximity to something generating temperatures approaching 130 degrees sounds suspicious. I'm going to look around and see if there's some sort of uh, heat sink type material that I can slide in, maybe between some components, between the motor and the pulley, and between the motor and the circuit board. It can't hurt. I'll also see if I can drill some holes in the back for ventilation, and if the USB port in the back is providing power, then I may get a little USB powered uh, exhaust fan to go in the back of this thing.